Up north of this land, there is country, home to the Tiwi people. The islands were formed by Merton Carla, the creator. She made two, known today as Bathurst and Melville. The story we are going to tell takes place on Bathurst Island. In 1958, an important woman arrived. Sister Anne, known to the Tiwi people as Puana Kamo, the lighthouse. Well, when I arrived, within the first hour, was to go across to the school, which was under the church, dirt floor, long desks, slate pencils, and um, I, I felt very insecure. Oh, I came here ill-prepared as a young sister. I was insensitive in many areas because I didn't understand. And I felt that um, later on in life, I felt I must have hurt them. The arrival of Europeans, the missionaries, and the Western way of life impacted greatly on the Tiwi people. We're finding it, young people, very hard to pass on the culture because Western world is so, so powerful. On the Tiwi Islands, we speak one language. There's four tribes and eight clan groups. And Sister Anne loves and works with all it's been a reciprocal relationship. I think she's been able to, to love the people and the people have loved her back. They know that in my heart I am interested in them being who they are, that they will know their culture, their language. The Tiwi people had given Sister Anne a home. Her gift back was to find a place to preserve their language and culture. A museum was her creation. If you look at knowledge and the preservation of knowledge, that has been her lasting legacy and it's an important one because if you look everywhere else on the mainland, some of those languages are being lost. The museum holds history and culture that will give my kids and my grandchildren valuable knowledge to take to the future. On the 17th of March, the museum will be publicly handed over to Maggie and Fiona. It's a day I'm looking forward to because it will become the Tiwi Museum. She's such a small, petite person, but don't be fooled, within that small frame lies a giant of a woman. I, I think that e every white Australian could learn a lot by coming here and to really see that they do have a way of life themselves and that we begin to respect that way of life a little bit more. Two people, you know, really honour her. We're very lucky to have Suzanne. She's watched many people come and go in this community and I think that that in itself is a testament. They've given me the ability to be a more human person, to acknowledge my failings and not be afraid of um, the truth. Though they come from different stories, they see each other. Merton Kawa and Sister Anne, two important women in the lives of TV people. I think she's been a real visionary with many of the other elders that there was going to come a time when we'd have to embrace both worlds, so the Western world but also our own world. Their friendship, their sense of humour, uh, their, their love of reality has strengthened me day by day and um, it's a good place to be.